August TV. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Okay, so I'm going to be sharing five books that I've read that have changed my life and they've changed the way that I think and they've helped me to improve myself. So I'm just going to jump right into it. The first book that I would say helped me to improve myself was How Successful, well, How Successful People Think by John C. Maxwell. Yeah, I would say that this got me started on my, I would say that this book got me started on my positive thinking journey because I wanted to think more positive. I was definitely a negative thinker and I think this opened my mind to the idea that positive thinking is actually helpful. So this started me with that. The second book that I would say changed my life, and by the way, this is not in order because, yeah, maybe I should put it in order. It's too late. We're just going to keep going. The second book that I would say changed my life, and this is not in any specific order, is The Mastery of Love by Don Miguel Ruiz. And wow, this book, I read this book more than once because this book has a lot of gems and as you can see like when I read I highlight I take notes like I, I want to learn so I'm if I'm reading I want to I want to learn something from it I'm not just reading just to read I just think this book like it makes you go there like it makes you go there like all the way in there so this book taught me that love is healing like it it, it will heal you and I'm not saying that it takes a specific type of love because there is different kinds of love. You know, there is love where you're in a relationship. There's love you receive from your mother. There's love you receive from your friends. But love is healing because through all of those things, you will notice different parts of yourself and different things will get brought up, different traumas, and you'll be able to talk about certain things. It's like therapy. It's like having... On. love is like your therapist at the end of the day this book also teaches you about loving yourself because that's the most important thing that's the most important thing you have to love yourself first so this book it talks about that but then it also talks about relationships me and my boyfriend actually read this book together my second time reading it we were actually read it together we would sit down and read chapter by chapter and i think that it helped our relationship because it helped us to learn about how to communicate with each other and how to speak each other's love language because, you know, people go through things in their childhood or people go through things, period, and subconsciously, you may not even know it, but it affects you. And if you talk about it with someone that you love or that you're in a relationship with, they can be mindful of that and they can ultimately speak your love language and understand you better and just have more patience with you and you know it just helps it really helps it really really helps I feel like this book is a great conversation starter this book changed my life because it helped me with my my loving this book helped me to love myself better and it also helped me and my boyfriend to love each other better I would say the third book that I'm gonna talk about I know this is like so old but it's the secret and this is me being honest this book changed my life like it changed my life i honestly i think i i read this book for the first time in 2013 i believe it was 2013 because i remember where i was living when i read the book so my um my best friend rihanna actually introduced it to me and i read it and i was just like whoa like i didn't know any of that stuff existed no one had ever told me about the the law of attraction or anything like that so this was all so new to me and ever since i've read this book i felt more in control this book helped me to feel in control like it stopped made, making me feel like life was happening to me and started making me feel like i'm happening to life like i'm in control of this I get to say what I want. I get to I get to want to what I want. I get to do what I want. And all of those things have energies that I'm putting out into the universe. And 
what I do ultimately comes back to me. I don't know. This book, this book was good. I like this book. I think that if you're just now starting off on this journey, this would be a really good book to read. Like if you're trying to change your way of thinking, I would say this first. This is the first book to read. Okay, now this fourth book, I mean, I I went in on this book. When I say I went in, I mean, I read paragraph for paragraph and took note. And it is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I read this book because um, I had just published my second book. And I don't know if it's just me. Excuse me. I just burped. Okay. I don't know if it's just me, but after I accomplish something, there's like this high. And then it's like, oh, what am I going to do next? Like, what, how, like, what am I going to do? So, you know, I just felt like I wasn't being as effective as I could be. So I decided to read this book and I ordered it off of Thrift Books. You guys should check out Thrift Books if you haven't. I got most of my books off of Thrift Books because they're super cheap and once you spend I think it's like ten dollars you get like five dollars off or something like that it's 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 great deals but anyway this book is like highlighted all out but um I took a lot of notes on this book so I'm gonna just show you guys some of the notes that I took and share with you guys some of the things that I learned because I learned a lot so um this is how I take notes like I got make graphs and drawings and stuff. So this book, oh, this book taught me about the self-fulfilling prophecy. And the self-fulfilling prophecy is the idea that our actions impact others' beliefs towards us, which then cause others' actions towards us, which reinforce what we believe about ourselves, which then again influences our actions. So it's like this circle of recycled energy. And, um, yeah, this, the concepts that I learned in this book have really, really stuck with me and made me a better person because it made me more conscious, conscious and aware of my actions and where my actions come from, which is my character. And I feel like that is an important lesson, like to really work on your character is is like working on your soul because you're making sure that everything you're doing is coming from a good place it's coming from the right place and that's something that people do not like that's something that a lot of people do not have unfortunately i feel like um nowadays it's a popularity contest and people want your people want this personality and once you have this personality you're you're like people are easily sucked in but no where is that coming from are you do you have good intentions behind the things that you're saying the things that you're doing are you just doing it to showcase something are you doing it because that's really who you are and that's really something that you want to do i think that um it actually was in this book it's called uh character character ethnic Character ethnic is the idea that your character is the foundation of your success and it's basically primary greatness and your personality is just secondary greatness. Like it's cool if you have a nice personality to back up your character, but the main focus should be the character, not the personality. So, I mean, I can go on for days about what I learned in this book because I have pages and pages and pages and pages of notes on this book. So, I'm just going to leave that there. And I highly suggest that when you read this book, you get it, you have a pen and paper so you can write things down. That was another thing that I learned in oh, God. That was another thing that I learned in this book, How Successful People Think. It said that if something intrigues you, you should write it down. And ever since then, I've been writing things down. I read The Secret in 2013, and that was before I gained that idea that you should write things down when it intrigues you. So I didn't have anything written down for that book. But as you can see, every book that I've read after that, I have notes. I love notes. And the last book that I read that I would say has changed my life is Emotional Wellness by Osho. 
and this is more of a recent read for me i'm actually currently reading this book and um wow i feel like emotional wellness like speaks first of all the title let's talk about the title because what made me pick up the book was the title because i felt like i was lacking emotional wellness um so let's just start there and because i felt like okay you know i understood through the by these i understood from these other books that i was in control but there was times where i would feel like you know i was thinking things that i didn't want to think and it just made me kind of stress um a lot more because it's like you know what i know better than this and i feel like if you want to think better thoughts and if you want to feel better you have to make sure that you're emotionally well because that's like super important like anyway <laughs> i feel like the main thing that this book has taught me is to cancel out fear i feel like fear a lot of our emotional illnesses come from fear like fear of whatever you know so i have a few notes on on this um book but i feel like a quote that stuck out to me because i actually gave it its own page and i almost never give a quote its own page so um let's just read it together because i don't even remember what it says it says all these things that your mind is filled with are not yours you are beyond them oh yes 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 i feel like i remember why i wrote that down I remember why I wrote that down because it was um a chapter that was explaining like the cause and effect of things and how things end up in our minds and why we think the things that we think and I feel like it's important to separate ourselves from that like where and and think of yourself as being greater than the things that you think about because sometimes that can be the very thing that holds you back so i feel like that was really important it also says it also says the mind is a mechanism it is not you inside it is one humanity i don't know osho was on some stuff y'all because i'm telling you i'm telling you that he has some gems i have other books by him that i have read or that i am currently reading and yeah he was just on a he was he was a very inspirational spiritual being i was a person i used to be super depressed i used to have so much bad anxiety and i feel like um these books have helped me to work on those things and to feel more in control I don't give depression my, I understand that it's a real thing and that it's, you know, it's, I understand that it's in here, but I separate myself from that, if that makes any sense. Like, I know that I am not that, like, that's not me. It's something that is affecting me, but it's not me. So I feel like that's something very important to understand that that helped me so, so much. And I feel like by reading these books, it really just helped me to understand my power and it helped me to want better for myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you guys gained something from it. I will link these books down below. I will try to find them on thrift books for you guys because it'll be much cheaper if you guys buy these books on thrift books because that's where I buy my books. But if I'm unable to buy, to find the links on thrift books, I will link Amazon links for you guys. I just really appreciate you guys watching this video and going on this journey with me through my books and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.